Hello, my name is Maria Kaeli. I'm a family physician with AMED Health Anderson Family Medicine, and today I'm going to talk to you about packing a healthy lunch. First and foremost, it's important to pack your home lunch as much as possible, number one, because it saves you money, number two, okay, then you know exactly what you're eating and what you're getting. Now certainly people always say it costs more to eat, it costs more to eat healthy, but really what you're paying for in the front end by eating um, and buying healthier foods is that you will save in your healthcare costs. So it's important to keep that in mind because yes, it does cost more to eat fruits and vegetables right now, but think of what you're gonna save in the end with less healthcare, um, uh, with less needs for medication and hopefully less illnesses, okay? So for lunches, um, it's important to remember to eat something that has protein in it, and that can be in the form of a sandwich, and that can be turkey, um, any kind of lean meats. You can also have egg salad, okay? Eggs are full of um, omega-3s. If you get the ones that are naturally um, fed or um, cage-free, that's the best, okay? Um, making sure that the mayonnaise is low-fat mayonnaise. You could have um, cheese sandwich, make sure it's a low-fat cheese sandwich. You could have peanut butter and jelly. You just gotta make sure that the jelly is the spreadable fruit. So there are a lot of different options for that. Now for the breads, it's important to make sure that bread is whole grain, 100% whole wheat, okay? If you don't like bread, there's pita bread, there's bagels, there's English muff muffins, um, and certainly there's the wraps. So, okay, so remember, there's a lot of different ways you can get your sandwiches in um, and get your protein. And certainly in the middle of that meat and cheese, make sure you've chock full of um, vegetables in there as well. So lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, you can even add avocados in there as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can put a lot of nutrients that's full filled with um, vitamins and minerals, um, antioxidants, all in that sandwich. All right. Next is some sort of produce, and that can be a fruit or vegetable of any sort, the apples, the pears, um, things that are, you know, tangible, that it's easy to eat, okay? Because certainly if you're packing it, it's got to be something simple. Um, it's got to be something for some, well, some of us, or it's quick and easy to um, eat. So apples, um, oranges, uh, you can have carrots, you can dip it in with um, any kind of hummus, you can dip it in uh, low-fat ranch dressing, low-fat ranch dressing. Um, so there's different ways to make it so that you're eating fruits and vegetables and having it taste good as well. Um, as for something to drink, um, water's the best, but if you don't want to use water, you can have 100% fruit or vegetable juice, or certainly milk is always a good, um, uh, uh, it's always a good choice as well. Make sure it's a low-fat milk. And it's always good to add something fun to eat at the end, and that could be chocolate, make sure it's 70% dark chocolate, or it could be your favorite cereal, could be a granola bar, it could be a dried fruit or um, uh, any kind of fruit snacks that's fine to do. So make sure you have something in there that's fun for you to eat, that you enjoy eating, so that it's an all around um, good meal for you, okay? And I hope this helps to help you to pack your lunch each day, and thank you very much for your time.